Hello YouTube, this is Roblox Noon 101 here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a basic moving vehicle on Roblox. Not necessarily, you can make any design on it you want, but I'm just going to build a physics of a moving car. So, you're going to want to start off by taking a part from the Advanced Objects tool, which you go to Insert. You're going to want to open up your place in Roblox Studio mode, Edit mode, and you're going to want to click Advanced Objects. From there, insert a part, and then drag it down here. Now you're going to click scale and resize it to give it a car like look. Like that. A wide. And you do one high. And then you do. I don't know, re. Okay. And then you move it. Like that off the ground. So, wait. One off the ground. One thing off the ground. Now you're going to drag a new part and make our wheel, and you're going to have it facing this way. So put a new part, and you're going to make, we're going to make our wheel now. So we're right there. Now you need to scroll down and see where it says shape, change it to cylinder to make it an actual wheel. And then make sure it's facing this way when you put it on. So it should be like that. Now you're going to click hinge right here, and then you're going to click on the side of the wheel nearest to the uh, brick thingy. If I can put it down here. Okay, now like that. And you're gonna like that. Then you're gonna copy this wheel and then wait, no, no. After you attach the wheel, what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the color to really black, and then you're gonna change the material to concrete to give it a tire like look and then you're gonna make all the shapes I mean yeah no you're gonna make all the surfaces smooth so you see studs change that to smooth every surface should be smooth hinge smooth until smooth and once you redo that you need to rehinge it because you see you remember when it said hinge and you took that off that took the hinge off so you need to rehinge it so let me let me see if this will work nope okay move it back one you have to move it one back from the car and then do like that well No, no, wrong thing. There we go. Now you just drag it one closer. There we go. Let's see. Okay, good. That's the right way. Wait, what? Shouldn't even have messed with it. Okay. Rotate, 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 rotate. Oh, man. No problem. There we go. Now you're always gonna. There we go. Oh, like that. Now we can copy. Let me move this over. You have to have them completely even, or else they will not work properly. Now we will copy our will. Then we will paste it to get the left side done, or whatever side. <laughs> I don't really pay attention. Okay, right there. And then is that hinged? Yes, it is. There we go. Now, we're going to copy both wheels. Copy and paste them. This is what makes it much easier because you don't have to make the wheel every time. There we go. So just like that. <laughs> Tires are off here. You go one that way. And one that way. And one that way. You need to be at the very, very top. Okay, like that. Then what you're going to do is you have to make sure they're all even or else it's not going to work. So let me see if they're all even. Okay. 
Now you're going to go to the advanced objects toolbar thing again, and you're going to select vehicle seat and drag it on top of the car thing. I mean, whatever, movie vehicle. And then you want to select the vehicle seat, scroll down where it says control, change the max speed, see where it says 25, change that to 50, and then change the torque here to 20. This is going to give it more power and speed. You don't want to give it too much power and too much speed, or that, or else it'll, it won't, it won't go right. And why are these moving like when I'm not looking? Because I don't remember me changing that. All right. Now you're gonna click the vehicle seat and change it to whatever color you want. I'm gonna change mine to blue. Now change the little brick for the car actual for the actual car. Let me see if this needs to be moved down one. Okay, I accidentally had it two off the ground. Only have it one off the ground, okay guys? Only one off the ground. So like that. So see, doesn't that look much better? So you're only going to have to have it one off the ground, not two. You're going to pull this brick up one off the ground, or else it won't work. Now you're going to change this brick color to red. So, um... Now you can add a new part and make our fin, or spoiler, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, let's make that, and then like that, and then you're going to add the fin to the spoiler. <laughs> I know that doesn't look, ooh, man, undo. Okay, there we go. If you ever have an issue and ever move that uh, brick away, just click undo button right here. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, uh, I know that doesn't look anything like a spoiler. You know what, let's just take that off. I was just trying to spiff it up a bit, but too bad. Alright, so now let's test it. So you're going to click X, and then you're going to click save. Now you could press F6, but that doesn't work with me. Hang on, let me plug in my computer real quick. Hang on. Back here. Okay, there we go. It's plugged in. Alright, now let's test this thing. Alrighty. Oh, perfect. Right next to it. And there we have it, guys. Our moving vehicle in Roblox. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. There uh, is kind of a, I guess you could call it like a go-kart or something. You can make the little chassis thing, whatever design you want. I just made it very basic for this tutorial video. So, yeah, that's how you build a basic moving vehicle in Roblox. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped and I'm sorry for not uploading a video in a long time but other things have been happening uh if you have enjoyed the video please do give the video a thumbs up it does help out a lot please subscribe to my channel to receive more Minecraft Roblox and Skylanders videos and I will see you guys next time bye bye